Hi YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael and today I have Esme and Simon with me and they're just hanging out off camera. If you'd like to win your own Bushcraft Haversack bag, I'll leave instructions at the end of the video. This is only available to people that live in North America, unfortunately. So I'm doing a bit of spring camping and the weather's beautiful, as you can hopefully see. Testing out some new equipment. This is the Helicon Tex Haversack that I have in, I believe this is the Coyote color. Um, very impressed with this pack so far. Um, it is a new product from Helicon Tax and it is up to their usual standard. Uh, it has lots of great features which I'll kind of take you through. Just as a comparison, this is the Bushcraft Satchel and this is the Haversack. So it gives you an idea of the sizes. So I used the Bushcraft Satchel for quite some time, um, probably maybe two years, year and a half, two years. And I use this a lot. I carried all my camera equipment. Um, it's a very good pack. I did find it slightly too big, which sounds odd, but hear me out. So as a shoulder carry, uh, what I could load up in this in this bag um, was probably more weight than one shoulder could bear. And I found that if I loaded it with all the stuff I wanted to bring with me, uh, it was a little bit too heavy. If you were going to pack it lighter, obviously that's not going to be a problem. But I tend to overload my bags because if you've got 20 litres, I'm going to fill it with 20 litres. So that's a me thing. Uh, very good practical pack. Um, still using this for lots of other things too. But the Haversack is kind of a, a variant of the same. Um, it does have the shoulder carry, obviously. Also has this nice grab handle at the top and overall I've been very happy with it. I'm just going to show you some of the features. So on this one side we have a lots of molly and a, a pocket for a knife for instance and on the other side same again with molly but this one is actually a pass-through so you could get a small hatchet in there or some other thing that you could hang all the way through and uh, that's a very thoughtful idea. I'm just going to clip off the strap, make it easy, put that to one side. And what we have on the back is a nice deep pocket that goes all the way through to the bottom. Which is quite a deep pocket, great for documents or the grill you could possibly put in there. So moving along to the front, again we have some molly on the front flap over type lid and this kind of curious type of uh, locking buckle not sure about this 100 percent just yet it's something different uh, by pulling the little clip out obviously unlocks the uh, the flap um, if this holds up obviously I, I camp a lot in very cold weather I'm always worried about plastic parts. Uh, we'll see how this fares, but so far it's been fine. Um, but this is my area of concern. Uh, it wouldn't be terrible if I had to replace it with something else, but that's just what's in my mind. But I do like it, it's very secure, it's not gonna come undone. Like I say, quick pull, quick access. I do have this loaded up with my equipment. So I'll kind of show you what I've got in here. Uh, tripod mounts, got all my camera gear basically, but it gives you an idea of what you can load. I have my Garmin Mini. Um, good thing about this front pocket is it is Velcro as well. And goes all the way to the bottom. I say it's Molly across the front too. There's a keychain loop, which I keep my Garmin on because I really don't want to lose this. And then for the interior, I'll just remove some of the items. So my camera light, my drone, drone controller, Osmo Action Cam, Video Mic Go microphones, tripod, 
Uh, this is my battery bank, my Osmo uh, Go. That's my bag for the other one. So inside, you can see there's a, a pocket on one side that does fit a standard water bottle to stop that rocking around. There's another uh, plastic clip loop again for storing keys and whatnot I would expect. There's a zip pouch again this is really great if you have stuff that you really don't want to fall out of the bag for any reason. Secure storage and there's also a second bigger pouch on the other side too which goes all the way to the bottom. That's where I keep all my cables. And then the main compartment itself too which is a sizable piece of equipment. The bottom does seem double layered, it's quite thick, so it'd be very good for abrasion. And uh, like I say, I, I like it very much. I think the sizing for me is perfect. Um, obviously I'm carrying lots of equipment when you see me with my equipment, that's not all my equipment. Um, I carry lots of camera equipment as well which again, I carry too much stuff. So this is gonna be my lightweight camera bag for the most part, where I can just carry my more portable camera equipment, um, Osmo Action and the Osmo Pocket as well. These are great little cameras that you can get some good footage. And obviously I've got my drone as well. So this fits in here quite easily with space to spare. So my overall thoughts on the Helicon Tex Haversack is, Build quality is excellent. It's very thoughtfully laid out with things in the right places, the pass through for the ax and the other pocket for a knife, for instance. Lots of molly to make it customizable. It's not too big. Again, going back to my problem with overloading things and filling it to capacity, this is a great bag for me because I can only fill it to a certain amount. So it's gonna be comfortable for shoulder carry for longer distances. Um, lots of secure storage in here, also quick access. Um, if you are in the US, there's obviously um, a Velcro in the front pouch, and I guess that's for a concealed carry perhaps. So you could have a Velcro holster in there if you wished. Um, again, the water bottle pouch just to keep make sure that it stays upright if you're carrying other things. It's just a, a very well thought out pack. I think this is going to be a big hit for Helicon Tex. Does come in various colors, um, but I wouldn't hesitate recommending this product to uh, anyone looking for a small haversack type bag. And for the money that they charge, I think it's very reasonable indeed. So I'll continue to use this over the coming months and years, and I'll feed back, and you'll probably see it on my channel from time to time. But yeah, another great product. Okay, that's all I've got for now. So until next time, take care. If you'd like to enter the draw for the haversack bag, Please ensure that you're a subscriber and you're from North America and just leave me a comment in the comments below indicating that you'd like to enter and good luck to everybody. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.